Hey, Desmond Du here. Today we're going to learn about random function and numbers using expression in After Effects. With the right expression, we can easily randomize a layer's position, color, scale. We can even create a random fade on effect or this random spriting effect. And uh, we can do a uh, opacity flickering and, of course, generating a random string of numbers. All these examples can easily be created in After Effects if you understand the concept of random numbers. Over here, I have a list of expression that generates random values. And it's uh, right now it's going at 30 frames per second, which is too fast for us to comprehend. So I have a setup here which is playing at a slower frame rate. And now we can dissect what's, uh, what's going on at each expression. So for the first line of expression, random bracket, it's very simple. It's just going to generate a random value between 0 and 1. And uh, if you were to type in a value, and in this case 20, random 20, it's going to generate a random value between 0 and 20. And if you really want to be specific with the minimum value, you can type random, the minimum value, comma, maximum value. And in this case, it's 42 and 400. So uh, After Effects is going to generate uh, a random value between that range. Gauss Random does the same thing, but it has a Gaussian distribution. What this means is that 90% of the result will be uh, within that range, and 10% of the result will be outside this range. And last but not least, we have Noise. And again, it's very clear cut. It's just going to generate a random value between negative 1 and 1 using Perlin noise, which means to say that your result uh, will be random, but it's not crazily random. So you may have noticed that at every single frame, uh, we are generating a random value for each expression. And if we want to stop that from happening, we need to write one more line of expression. And the expression is called seed random. So you would type in seed random bracket a number, which is a seed, comma, true or false. So if you were to type in true, it's going to tell After Effects to stop generating a random value at each frame. So you only get one fixed value. And if you were to change that true to false, it's going to generate a random frame at uh, a generate a random number at each frame. Uh, so you could just remove that line, the seed random expression altogether if that is what you want. So that's pretty much it for random numbers and functions in After Effects. I hope this uh, overview has been helpful for you. In my next video tutorial, I'm going to make use of this concept to create uh, some of the effects you've seen earlier at this uh, tutorial. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoy it. Please visit my website at docs.nosleepcreative.com for my curated list of expression that you can use for your projects.